हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड विद द सक्सेसफुल लॉन्च ऑफ फर्स्ट बैच ऑफ जोग्रफी ऑप्शनल वी आर रेडी विद द सेकेंड ऑप्शनल इट्स गोइंग टू स्टार्ट नाउ एंड द पैटर्न एंड द स्केड्यूल ऑफ द ऑप्शनल इज ऑलरेडी विद यू इट इज देयर ऑन द वेबसाइट यू कैन गो थ्रू दैट वेबसाइट एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द यू नो द टाइमिंग ऑफ द the the uh, timing of this optional class see it's also the time for prelims we understand that but if we have to take an edge we need to start little early you should focus on prelims no doubt about it and those who are taking class uh, those who are taking this exam in 2022 it's all right for them you can you can anyways uh, it's ample time for them so they they can easily follow with this uh, geography option schedule those who are taking 2021 uh they they focus on they should focus on their prelims right uh, thoroughly and we will be scheduling we will be uh, maintaining this, uh, the the entire class program in such a manner that it does not affect your prelims preparation much so and we are hoping that we should be able to finish this syllabus f- by mid of august that is our target by 13th or 14th of august we should be able to wrap up geography optional syllabus if we start now and if uh, you will be given the uh, class material and uh, class videos are with you which would be uh, very helpful to help you to to make notes you can easily take the notes and besides that we are already there to work with you right and uh, you can see this we are starting with geomorphology where the discussion would be main on you know the origin of uh, origin and evolution of earth earth's crust theories of that then we'll uh, go through the geological time scale and the theories the syllabus topics that are mentioned like plate tectonics geosyncline then isostasy and uh, channel morphology see the <coughs> the pattern of this classes may not be exactly like what you see in your syllabus as mentioned in upsc topics are all same in fact we have tried to include few more topics which are not mentioned in the syllabus but have been asked which includes the arid cycle of erosion like the periglacial cycle and so on some topics and geomorphic uh, geomorphic principles thornbury uh, those eight statements of thornbury of geomorphic principles we are going to include those topics as well but what is very important for all of you uh, to follow the classes we have we have designed the classes in such a way so that the conceptual understanding goes in the sequence so that is why we have done the scheduling in this way so that it it goes with the sequence of the, or, or the flow of the concept because the flow of concept is very very important so geomorphology uh, after this geomorphology discussion we are starting with population geography now a lot of people have asked me this why do you want to start with the population geography why not with the climatology as the sequence is there see what i feel when we read geomorphology it's real heavy topic uh, there are so many concepts so much of detailing and you know covering geomorphology in itself is a big task like it's a, itself is a very big challenge so i feel that uh, you know there is some tiredness by the end we finish by the time we finish geomorphology and we feel uh, little heavy when we have uh, you know discuss so many theories and so much of information because obviously it is it is much more than what we discuss for jala study jala study is just the base here there are so many theories so much of information so therefore i i thought we should uh, include some lighter topics it's not a not light it doesn't mean that it is less important it's very important the population geography is very very important for your exam but topics do not uh, they're not heavy like they're not topics are like demographic transition theories population and social capital as a social capital and and some migrational theories which is uh, related to the contemporary aspect which is uh, re- relatively lighter easier to understand but yes application part is even even challenging so it is not that it is less important it's equally important after all uh, we uh, are concerned with the number of marks so population questions will give you equal marks but then it's not tough to understand these uh, these concepts so easy so that i thought there should be a lighter classes so we have some three sessions which will be a little more relaxing and uh, but important apply application aspect and and uh, what what you need to do is again the follow classes and the class material then climatology we'll be starting with climatology and different topics of climate right again a topic which will include lots and lots of conceptual understanding 
right conceptual understanding so it's purely based on concepts right then we have climatic classifications climate change role of man uh, this this also includes the urban climate and the contemporary aspect then after that biogeography because when we discuss you know the climate after that biogeography would be very easy to understand and relate that then we'll start with another applied aspect that is uh, economic geography where we discuss different agricultural regions of world then we talk about the food and nutrition problems industries theories of industries uh, distribution of resources problems and then relating it to the paper two like geology of india physiography of india and we shall complete this topic right uh, with the natural vegetation and floods and rots and then we'll start with agriculture usually what happens uh, most of the people how they study is then when they study the agriculture in paper one agriculture typology in paper one they study it as an agricultural geography so geography of uh, world and geography of india will be simultaneously handled right so first they'll discuss the geography of world and then they'll take the geography of india and then come to the economic geography but we separated these topics we have kept them very separate first we'll cover up the world geography part world uh, agriculture regions and then indian agriculture regions because you see the amount of detailing that is required for indian agriculture is quite different than very different than the detailing required for world geography right here we need to discuss the uh, in detail what are the problems of agriculture and what are the new methods of irrigation new programs applied aspect agricultural regionalization there are four to five agricultural regionalizations uh, so it, it's not so easy that the world agriculture regions vital sea classification and some more classifications are there but here it's, it's more detailed so i would suggest that we, we study it separate as a part of paper two then a very interesting topic political geography will be followed political geography heartland rimland theories and then we compare it to the indian aspect indian foreign policy and state uh, rather st internal issues and also discuss the <coughs> boundary related issues with neighboring countries and overall india's role in south asia geopolitics as mentioned then settlements now settlements paper one and paper two will be simult simultaneously handled paper one like the urbanization of world urbanization in india how do we define what is the difference in the definition of urbanization uh, so, so sphere of influence then what is the what have what are the theoretical aspects and how do we relate to the india and same thing slum problems of the world some slum problems of india so there's an interconnection between these two that will be falling for settlements then cultural settings again important for your social issues as well right cultural setting followed by industries and regional development and planning this R and, uh, R, uh, rdp region development planning is very important topic in mentioned in your paper one and also mentioned in your paper two so this is one this is another topic that we are doing simultaneously right we we'll discuss what are regions of the world and then we'll discuss what are the uh, uh, different regions of india how uh, developmental strategy or examples in the world then we'll take in examples of india and then multi-level planning command area development program and this is again very very applied it will also help you in disaster aspect such as the drought programs flood programs the desert development programs hill area development program so regional aspect is very important then will be followed by geographical thoughts the most important topic of your geography i'm sure a lot of people would be hoping that we start with the geographical thoughts but trust me because we are not most of us who take optional uh, in upsc mains examination we don't choose the subject which is in our background very few people just 1% of uh, you know candidates take optionals from their graduation subjects so we presume that most of you have not studied geography in your graduations so if i start with the geographical thoughts maybe you will not be able to relate it so we have kept it towards the end and it's very important without geographical thoughts geography is not uh, geography is incomplete you cannot understand geography under, unless we study geographical thoughts so philosophical backgrounds like aerial differentiation contribution of greeks romans arabs that is how we start with it and we'll try to understand how geography evolved as a subject right what are the geographical you know uh, explanations whether it's determinism, whether how possibilism comes into existence, what is neo-determinism, what are the different approaches that have been followed, what has been the role of quantitative revolution, 
uh, right what how did it shape geography and geographical explanations what were the drawbacks of it welfare geography environmentalism human development or human welfare approach all that it's very very interesting topic and you can relate now why uh, there is another purpose that we have kept it towards the end is because you know when you uh, when I say that there is a positivism or when I say there is a deterministic approach was followed by XYZ geographer and then I give you an example that this was the theory that we had studied with a deterministic approach. For example, system analysis then we will tell you how and where all the system analysis theories were uh, you know applied. But if I, if I start with this and then say we will be discussing, so you will not be able to relate in that way. So you would understand this towards the end, why we have kept it towards the end, so that we can make an overall view of geography and then connect the entire geography as a, a subject. From there, oceanography. Last topic will be oceanography. Now this is again a lot of people ask that oceanography towards the end, why so? It's my personal experience that I've seen by the time, you know, uh, we reach towards the end of geography classes, many people feel tired, fatigue, because, uh, you know, the human geography people, I mean, there's a lot of description involved. So a lot of people are interested in studying physical geography more than the human geography, where, whereas human geography is more interesting and, and, and it's, it's uh, you know, uh, very important part of it. So oceanography towards the end, we have said that physical geography, uh, topic should be at the end so that you know people feel connected and last topic would be for the contemporary issues right and this contemporary issues we can take four classes we have uh, planned but it can be five classes it can be six classes as well so we'll try to summarize this and see current events that have taken place over the over one year or how we can relate the current events in geography although the topics are mentioned in your syllabus you can go through that those topics but still we need to you know we need to add few more topics to it right so this is how the topics will go through that your geography batches will run and then we plan to finish it by 14th of august uh, it's a tentative date it might uh, go one day extra or one day earlier it depends right plus or minus but we will stick to this schedule as much as possible and that is how the, the pure class program will run through. So far as the class uh, support is concerned, yes, you have our full support. <clears throat> we'll try to make you comfortable in geography as much as possible and try to give you the conceptual understanding because it's conceptual understanding that's very important. At the same time, there will be uh, live doubt sessions, right? Live uh, doubt sessions. Uh, two times in a month that means fortnightly we'll be planning to you know all the all the doubts that you have you can uh, clear those in, in, in the live sessions we'll connect to uh, all of you and also in between also you can join the telegram group where you can you know get added and uh, I'm there in that group we will try to reply most of the doubts that you have right through that telegram group and uh, welcome to the geography optional classes that is all i can say and uh, thanks for the very overwhelming response that we got from batch one now the batch two we hope to get the same response right so let's start with the geography optional now right thank you <laughs>